Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm going to try the Prismo app, which was just released the other week. In fact, I tweeted out a link. Go.tagjag.com slash Prismo. It is an OCR, or Optical Character Recognition app, available uh, for the iPhone, of course, and using its camera. Oh, did you catch that tweet or the blog post? Really? You're not following me on Twitter yet? At Chris Perillo? Fine, whatever. So, what we're going to do is we're going to OCR this document right here. This was the uh, bit of text that Cat read at uh, Gnome Dex, and Cat is the person holding the camera right now. Say hi, Cat. Hi, everybody. All right, so she's feeling a little under the weather, so I pulled her out of bed and had her help me do this video. It wasn't so bad. So, uh, the nice thing about Prismo is it's optimized not just for text, uh, but you could also scan business cards. Uh, you could also scan in bills, like at restaurants and shopping centers. Whiteboards, you can capture them. And each uh, of these types of objects or items that you capture, uh, the OCR process will be optimized specifically for that type of image. It also has a reader available, a text-to-speech reader. Uh, however, you have to buy the voices. Prismo is not free, but as I said, go.tagjag.com slash Prismo. Let's see... Uh, how well it works. This is the first time we're going to try it. We're going to go ahead and go for text with the camera. It has a nice little grid there, so I can try to line up the lines here. And the reason why I'm doing it in this particular position is because I've got a lot of light above me. There we go. We've got the snapshot. Let's use it. Wow. Now I can crop it. Uh, I can add or change the perspective. It seems fine. I can go in and tell the uh, document where white happens to be. So now we're going to white balance it. There we go. Ooh, even better. Next. So now watch this little animation. If you can see it through the viewfinder, the little prism slides down and here we go. So everyone, how many of you would like to know what it's really like behind the scenes managing Chris's community and well, him, pause. So everyone, how many of you would like to know what it's really like behind the scenes managing Chris's community and well, him, pause. Wow! It, you guys, it seriously, it worked. It's I mean, awesome. I, I don't know if you're able to tell. I mean, I can see it. It's fantastic. No, it is Holy absolutely cow. fantastic. Um, this is perfect. And even better, when I press next, uh, I could go in and hit the read button and then play it back if I wanted to. I could copy to the clipboard. I could mail it. I could also attach it uh, as an email or in an email message uh, as a document. Or, uh, let's see here, save the original image and or text to Dropbox. Yeah, so there it goes. Nice. Connected to my Dropbox account. I'm uploading the JPEG scan. Uh, and then uh, as soon as it's done, I can go in and press the translate button. And it, it could translate it to Danish, Dutch, English, of course, is the language it's in now. French, German, Italian, Norwegian, Portuguese, Spanish, and Swedish. Don't really want to do any of that, though. I've now uploaded it to Dropbox, at least the original image. I also want to upload the text, and of course it uploads in the background. And so uh, I can also go in and scan the second sheet. Let's go. Okay, so we got that uploaded. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's even an optimize button. Oh, cool. So you can adjust it. Uh, if you didn't get a perfect translation, at least as far as the OCR part is concerned, uh, you can adjust it or optimize it. It's even better. Wow, this is just uh, pretty nice. If you were looking for an OCR application on the iPhone, it's pretty much Prismo. I don't know if there are any other OCR apps, because I hadn't heard of any. And uh, of course, you would uh, know that uh, with quite an extensive list of features, they're just going to continue to add more and more. Oh, oh yeah, I don't think you knew this. There's also Prismo for the Mac. Um, and they also have uh, in, uh, more applications listed in their iTunes account. So uh, even if you're not looking for OCR, you may want to take a look at uh, the apps that uh, they have to offer. At Creaseed. Creaseed. Go.tagjag.com slash P-R-I-Z-M-O. And it looks like they have Vocalia as another app in the iTunes app store. And that is something that uh, basically is hands-free speech recognition for the iPhone. Or that would also probably work on the iPad as well. There you go. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Uh, if you know of any other 
good applications that uh, would just make the iPhone killer for working on the go, please let me know. I don't care if it costs money because uh, this is a mobile office for me. I use it all the time. Uh, carry the phone with me wherever I go. Uh, whether the app is free or it's paid for, hey, if it helps my life, I'm thrilled. If you help my life, I'm even more thrilled. Geeks.perillo.com, Chris.perillo.com, and of course we have LockerNome.net, LockerNome.com, Coupons.LockerNome.com, the list kind of goes on and on and on. Kind of like this video. <clears throat> Uh, you're also welcome to join us in the chat room. We are typically talking tech 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.